Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to transfer this image onto this cheap fence panel in wood. It's not the best wood to work with, but it does a job if you just take your time with it. Unfortunately, it's going to be in two bits, but that won't be an issue. There'll be some supporting boards, stakes basically at the back for it to go in the ground. When we finish, we'll use the scroll saw or even the band saw just to cut out that full oval shape. As always, for me, the way I transfer is to simply lay out your template, stencil, image. And I like to use good old carbon paper. And it's just a simple case of these are all stuck down with sellotape. Nice inch effect. Put your carbon paper underneath and simply draw around with a pencil. And your sellotape's kept it in place. And you can see from that, there's an image that we're going to be doing today. Same with all the woods, all the lettering. It's all been done and ready to go. The actual oval shape itself, I just simply downloaded an oval shape from the internet. I stuck the two pieces together and carbon papered around that. To make it easier, you could have used this as a template pattern. Carbon paper underneath there and drawn it on there and then put all that on as one big piece. It's entirely up to you. But anyway, this works for me. As always, I'm going to be using these little CNC bits. These are really cheap. I love these, to be honest. However, they do have a small shaft on them. So you will require the collet. And that just simply slots on there. And that's now a quarter inch shaft. And that will fit into your router, no problem. These are like needles. And I'm going to use this to basically route all the way around all the letters. Especially these smaller ones, obviously. Because you're coming with a bigger piece. These could just break off. A bit delicate. So we use that to go around everything. And then once that's done, we'll set this one to the same depth. This is a quarter inch, one eighth bit, imperial straight. I tend to use the same two pieces on all my projects. There will be better ones out there. But obviously, they're more expensive. These are really cheap off eBay or Amazon. And then we're going with that. Let's take out all the outer section. And right around this framework of the oval shape. And then we'll use paint on this one today. So it'll be black, black, black for the castle bits. And the lettering. And a nice white background. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's set up our little CNC bit in the router and we'll start routing this out. Right, you can see from that, we've gone all the way around with our little CNC bit. Remove some sections in between, just so I have a rough idea. This also is what I call a mid depth charger. So when I put on my quarter by one eighth straight bit, I set it to the straight depth of that, same depth should I say. And when we go in between these gaps, as we come up to the bits that we've cut with the CNC, They'll pop out nicely, hopefully, without breaking any of the delicate lettering. I've always done mine two halves. I just don't have a lot of space to put that together as one piece. But it will fit together, no problem, towards the end. 
and any bits that aren't quite right we'll go down with a dremel and just straighten them all up and we'll make it fit so let's put on our one eighth bit and start removing all this background there is a bigger piece which i normally use and it's a quarter inch by quarter inch double bladed that really takes it out quickly but unfortunately we're not going to fit it in these tight gaps around here but uh, it would be okay on these bigger bits let's start removing the background now Right, you can see from that, we've done one half of our plaque so far. We've had no issues, nothing's fallen off. We've not lost any parts of the castle, which is always good. Basically going to do exactly the same with the bottom bit, as we did do with the top bit. And hopefully we'll fit them together. Any alignments that aren't quite right, we'll soon go around with the Dremel when we tidy these up and get them all into running line like so right let's continue and we'll remove all this bottom section now and then we'll do a general tidy up with sandpapers and a dremel just to give it these nice better, better finish and then we'll cut it out on the scroll saw Okay, you can see from that we've done our bottom section. We didn't lose any lettering, which is always a good sign. Just need to go around now and just give it a general tidy up with the Dremel and some sandpapers. Just give it a bit of a smoother finish. This is only cheap wood, remember. It's only cheap fencing panels. So it's not the best to work with, but you will get something out of it if you just take your time and put that little bit of extra work in. So let's tidy it all up first and then we'll cut it out with a scroll saw and then we'll start putting some paint on this one I believe. I think it could be a white background and black lettering just to make it pop out a little bit. Anyway let's tidy it up first and then we'll look at the painting side of things. Right, that's all done. It's all sanded down nicely. We're all good to go with that. I mentioned previously that we're going to paint this white. A nice black castle. A nice black lettering. However, I've sent a photograph to the person I'm doing it for. Who's just a, basically just a friend of mine. And he wants it leaving like this. Why would you leave it like this? I have no idea. But anyway, that's his choice to do it. So all I'm going to do is end up putting some linseed oil on this. Just to give it a bit of a stainer. And then spray some 
polyurethane or something over the top. For the back piece, we're not going to glue it or anything. I'm simply made these little backing boards with screws that literally go through. And same again without coming through the other side. Do not go putting four inch screws in or you're going to be in trouble. And that will basically sit like that. Left the same again on that side. It seems a bit over the top with all the screws, but it'd be worth it because it is only cheap, nasty wood and it twists and turns. So the more screws and the more backing you can get in, the better. Ideally, it would have been nice to have one in the full circle again, but I'm not going to go that, so, that far with this project. And also, just one single stake, which you go down the middle like so. Screws again, screws again. That'll all lock in. Screw all that down. And then we'll put our linseed oil on and this project's finished. So we'll start screwing this in place first and then we'll put the linseed on. Right, that's secured the best we're going to get. It looks a bit over the top, but uh, nobody's going to see the back. Cause it's going up against a wall as such. So we're not overly concerned what it looks like. So all that's left now is put some linseed on this. Literally, just to darken it down slightly. You can use Danish oil. Tung tungsten oil. There's plenty of different types out there. But I'm just going to throw this Danish on. And then we'll just give it a little spray with some kind of protection. This wood is already treated, been pressurised, tannalised, whatever they call it. So just be careful when you're working on it that you've got the proper mask on and stuff. So I'm just going to put this on. And you can see from that, it'll just darken it back down again. Personally, I would have liked to have uh, painted this. But it's not to be. So we're just going to give it a good soaking all over with this. Let it dry. Spray it with our varnish polyurethane spray of some description. And that's as finished. I'll continue with this and then come back once we've put the spray on. Okay, this one's all finished now. You can see by that little bit of a shine on there. Basically just give it a couple of layers, three or four sprays of just a clear lacquer. First time I've used this one. So we're just trialing over with that one. It's 17 inch by 11 inch. I've left a nice long shaft on it. Just so the person I've done it for, they can cut it down to what size they want before it actually goes in the ground. Plenty of support on the back. I'd rather I'd put the paint on, to be honest. I think it still would look nice with a nice black lettering, a black castle and a white background. Just so that 55 would stand out a bit better. But this is what my uh, friend wanted, and that's what he's got. So there you have it. One routed out plaque on fence panels. Thank you for watching.